begins with this breaking news out of West Charlotte. It's where this mobile home right here is blocking I 485 inner and then look at the scene here. The cars that crashed into it got stuck inside. We broke into programming when it first happened about 1030 this morning and since then we've learned four people have been hurt in this crash. 1009's Joe Bruno is live near the scene. Now Joe, what can you tell us so far about what you saw out there? Well, whoever was involved in this wreck has some guardian angels looking after them because I keep looking at this wreck and I cannot believe nobody was seriously injured. First of all, take a look at the outer lanes over here. From what it looks like, it looks like that this trailer carrying a mobile home came across the median here into the inner lanes and as you can see right there, got into a wreck. Now take a look at these images from Chopper 9 you can see cars were pinned underneath this house. And we are told by medic that four people have non-life-threatening injuries. We're told that nobody died in this wreck, no serious injuries. Four people, non-life-threatening injuries involved in this wreck. We, uh, this has been going on for about an hour. I-485 inner lanes approaching Huntersville, Mount Holly. Traffic is moving very slowly. They have all of the cars going around this home right now on the shoulder. Let's take these live pictures once again so you can take a look at the traffic. Uh, really is a mess. I can see from this bridge right here that I-85 even looks like it is slow near the I-485 interchange. No word exactly on how this happened just yet. Again, investigators are on scene and in the last 10 minutes we saw them pull one of the cars that was pinned underneath this home out. Extensive damage to that car. We see all sorts of people walking around talking to investigators. We also see this other tractor trailer to my left of this house. Unclear how exactly that was involved, but we will be out here. There is no timeline yet on when this will be cleaned up. Clearly, though, it is going to take a while. We're live in West Charlotte. Joe Bruno, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. And Joe, with that comes obviously the major traffic impacts that we're monitoring. Here's another view. This is a, the DOT camera mounted in the area of 485 um, prior to Morris, Ch Morris Chapel. So the crash scene is here. What we're seeing is traffic right now just kind of getting through on the shoulder here. This is Morris Chapel. So if you're coming in from Morris Ch Chapel, you can access the interstate. But let's take a look at the map here because it is just lit up. So the crash scene happened here on the inner loop prior to Morris Chapel. Traffic trying to get to 85 northbound. You got CMPD now blocking that ramp so you cannot get back on to more than you wouldn't want to. But 85 northbound, you're going to bypass it. You're going to take 85 either to uh, Freedom Drive or to Mount Holly Road. You could take the Brookshire or you take I-77 back towards 485 and that will get you around that closure. Madison. All right, Mark, thank you. We sent out this breaking news alert as soon as we learned about the crash. So you want to make sure you have our WSOC app downloaded so you can get those alerts sent straight to your phone.